are super busy, but as per usual, I do like to make sure that I share the love of what's happening in the room. So, me and Ellie. Uh, Hello. Everybody knows Ellie Welly Stitcher. Um, <laughs> we are here in Stansted with a wonderful group of ladies where we are having a wonderful stitching retreat. There's lots of stitching in the room. There is sampler stuff. There is full coverage stuff. There is the Filipinas. There's memorabilia. There's what isn't there? What isn't there here? So I'm going to do the usual room sweep. So again, I'll try not to put ladies' faces on it because they don't like it. And um, we're going to set me. I don't care. She doesn't mind. So there's, <laughs> there are a few floss tubers here. Um, which I'm pretty sure that they won't mind being putting their faces on the video. Um, so I'm going to do a sweep of the room, but I thought me and Ellie would say hi to you at the beginning of the video <laughs> so that you can see that we've, uh, we've been very busy, haven't we? Oh yeah, we've done no stitching or very little, but we've done a heck of a lot of talking. Lots of talking, lots of talking. How many stitches have you done? What, today? About 20. <laughs> How many did you do yesterday? 200 in a whole day, and Don't... that was block stitching. Don't ask me how many I've done because it's disappointingly, disappointingly bad as usual. But she's um, been a brilliant hostess. What more could you ask for? We try, we try. <laughs> so on that note, I'm now going to go and do a bit more hostessing and, and go and chat with some more ladies. So I'm going to swivel the camera around and yeah, prepare yourselves to be wowed by wellness. Okay, see you soon. Bye. <laughs> so here we are, and this is. Let me let me show you the chart. So this is, what is this? The Morris Dancers. The Morris Dancers. Or, I can't see her. Maria Cooper Sampler 1790 by that. GGR. So I just want to get in close and personal with the chart. So, and this is, the, this is a picture of the original, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this is where you've got to look at that. Look at that. Let me get up close and personal with the stitching. I am loving the long stitch. Yeah. And what is that? Is that like a satin stitch? The satin stitch there? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. But that's not how it's charted in the chart, it's is it? It's not how it's charted in the chart, but that is what it appears to me on the actual original sampler picture. So it was easy enough to convert it into a satin or long stitch. I think that looks show. so effective. How gorgeous is that? So how long have you been working on this? Come on. <laughs> Up. I started it about four years ago. <laughs> about four years ago, but look how close you are to a finish. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm going to try and get it so finished. So there's, the what is there? There's, there's something uh, there, something yeah. there, and then literally the rest of this border. Is the that right? The border, yeah, the fence just to uh, come across, and then I think it's almost, yeah, basically the tree and. So basically, the, it's yeah. the tree and the like. What is that? Deer, S deer, stag. Or stag. Deer, yeah. And you've got that on the same side and then the ball down. Do you yeah. reckon you're going to get it finished today? I'm going to try. Or tomorrow? I'm really going to try. <laughs> oh, I'm so well. I think it's fabulous. Thank you ever so Thank much you. for sharing. Okay, so what have we got here? So this is Mary Hickmott's designs. Seaside living. Yep. Beautiful little houses. And this is where we've got to. <laughs> Look at that. How long have you been working on this one? Far too long. <laughs> Far too long. long. Since the dawn of time. Come on. Yeah. How long, roughly? A year? About three years. About three years. And I'm how many? So I'm not going to finish it this weekend. You're not going to finish it this weekend. So that's that's house. That that's that house, right? Yeah. So you're so working this one. Oh, you're on the last house. Uh, no, these two have got to be done yet. Oh, you've got two more houses to yeah. do. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And what are you stitching that on? Um, this is a uh, light blue Ada. Nice, wonderful. Well, thank you for sharing. That's okay. So here we are, and what have we got here? The Dreaming Girl by Barbara Anna. So loads of people know what this is. Yeah. I'm sure you've all seen this. Yeah. And this is where you've got to. Oh wow. So I've done all everything from here, and then working on this bit here. Up on the yeah. top. Oh, and all of the lovely. bit on the left hand side. So you're to do. just starting on her face, really? Are you yeah, getting, well, getting yeah. Are I'm, you I'm leave doing her face this till bit. last. Is that what you're no, doing? No, I don't think so. No, I think I'll do the face when I've done this bit and then sort of work my way around. Oh, I lovely. Think. I don't know. How long have you been working on this one? Oh, what do you think? A year? <laughs> That's not too bad. That's not too, not too shabby. Not too shabby. <laughs> I don't know. And what fabric are you using? I am actually. I actually know the answer to this you because usually answer. I don't. I'm like I don't know. But I'm using the cord for the cord for. So that's thirty-two can azura blue Lugana. Yes. Murano. Murano. Yes. Murano. 
I don't know. Lovely. You probably know better than me. <laughs> Lovely. That is gorgeous. I can't wait Thanks. to see it finished. I, I'm assuming you're not anticipating to have that done by the end Definitely of this Definitely not, no. no. <laughs> Just checking. No. Well, continue stitching. Don't let me Thanks. hold you up. Look who I have with me. For anyone that doesn't know who this is, this is Emo, the Irish stitcher. The Irish stitcher. She's on Floss Tube. If you haven't checked out her videos, you need to go and do that. So are you going to share with us what you've got? Yeah. Share I, with me um, what you've got. So this is Dew Drops by Nora Corbett, and I am very close to her finish. Well, of course you are. You're always close to her finish. Would you <laughs> look at that? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, and you're doing some beading as you go? I, I have all the stitching done. It's just the beading left now. Oh, my God. So how much beading is there? Is there lots? It's not too bad. I've got a little bit more to do on her wings, and then there's going to be some more dew drops going around her legs. And so, I think she has a bracelet as well. So this is going to be a finish this weekend? Yes, right? today, hopefully. Yay! And what about the fabric? What fabric are we working this on? This is it? Rain Stops Play by Chromatic Alchemy. That is gorgeous. And look, the further I move away, the more I can see the pink popping out. Yeah, it reminded me of, like, sunshine on puddles. So I said, that's... That's, That's perfect. perfect. That is perfect. Well, thank you for sharing. I look forward welcome. to seeing the finish later on. And um, have you got any new styles this weekend? Uh, I might be starting Thistle later on today, also by Nora Corbett. Oh, if I get a chance to do a bit more recording, either I'll do it. Or if not, definitely check out our videos. Yes, yeah, you, you can see it too. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Guess who we've got here. So for those of you that don't already recognise this lovely lady, this is Crafty Creative Claire on Floss Tube. Well see, it took, it's a bit of a tongue twister for me. Yeah, you're probably faster at saying it than me. Um, you are like Trojan stitching away as usual, and you have got two finishes already. Two finishes, yes. yeah. So let me swivel the camera around so we can show you all this glorious stitching that she's managed to get done. Okay, so this is the first one that I finished on Thursday night, and this is Spring from the Spring Smalls by Lizzie Kate. Look at that. And we had a whole full-on celebration about this one. We didn't did, we? we did. And do you know what fabric you stitched that on? It is, I think it's a fabric flare one. It's 32 count even weave with kind of like a spring yellow. I don't know if you can see the colours. Yeah, there. yeah, you can just sort of see it. That's gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes. So there's that one. Yes. And then I finished oh, that one. Oh, look at him. He's really cute. He's gorgeous. He's the Little House Needleworks. Um, sheep, little Sheep Virtues, the peace one. Oh, that is gorgeous. So I finished him yesterday and added a little button on there. Oh, look, and he's got a little heart on his bum. Yeah. I like the little heart on his bum. Let's... Everyone should have a little heart on their bum. Oh, most definitely. I, I aim yeah. for one, but... <laughs> Okay, so that was my finish yesterday. And what colour fabric's this one, do you know? Or is it just oh, like a blue? Uh, some kind of what random beige. I, I think it's a spy guard beige, 32 count. 32 count. You're a bit of a 32 count lover. I am. Yes. I love it. Um, yes, I was going to say. Favorite. So since as you've done all the finishing, now what have you got that you're stitching on? Start. It's a start. <gasps> Look at that fabric. Isn't that gorgeous? This is beautiful. This is Maelstrom by Sparklies. And gorgeous. that's a 32 count Well, of well. course it is. It wouldn't be anything <laughs> less. So let's have a little picture of what it's so, going to look like. So it's this going is... to look like this eventually. Oh, look. It's supposed to be stitched on black, but I am not doing that. No. Um, so it's going to be go on the blue. Wise but, choice. Yes. <laughs> now you said to me that although he looks lovely in the picture, you saw this stitched up oh, somewhere, yes. didn't you? This, uh, this does not do it justice at all. I saw it stitched up at one of the knitting and stitching retreats at the NEC in Birmingham. Right. And it it stopped me in my tracks. My jaw hit the floor. It was so stunning. And so that's when I bought the pattern, and that must have been about ten years ago. So I've been oh hanging on to it yeah. since then. Well, so. I'm 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 going to be keen to see how this progresses. How long do you reckon it's going to take you to finish this one? <laughs> Knowing me, about another 10, 15 years. But, I you know. doubt that. Well, uh, look, let's let's see how you get on. But I'm I'm interested to see what this is going to turn out like when you've finished yes. it. But well, there's my, it's a the good, first few stitches. A very good start. You watch. You'll probably have half the dragon done by the time we, <laughs> well, by the time we finish this retreat. Well, thank you ever so much for for sharing and. Uh, um, for those of you, like I say, that haven't already met Claire on Floss Tube, make sure you check out her yeah, channel. Yeah, you can see my progress. Yes. Thank you for sharing. Okay. okay, so we are here, and what have we got here? What's this one? Uh, Crown Bird Sampler by Crown Bird Sampler. Plum Street Samplers. Very nice. Oh, look. What are those ones? Are they little sheep? Yeah. Oh, look and at two the little, little dogs. Sheep. Oh, and two dogs. Yeah. Love, love, love. Okay, so where have we got to on this one? 
just most, well, just the oh, green bit of the border. And I'm going around filling the border in now. Oh, look at those stitches. How gorgeous is that? Now, this is, you're doing this on a linen, right? Yeah, what, uh, what vintage kind of meadow roof in detail. Oh, that is gorgeous. I like gorgeous. linen. That is gorgeous. I love the colours of the linen. Yeah, I love So it. are you working your way round on the reds on yes, the borders now? on the reds and the crowns and just filling in the rest of the, so all of this bit on the border as I go. Oh, gorgeous. And how long have you been working on this one? I started it September. 2019 mm. and I started it at the Milton Keynes retreat and did it all of this um, green started filling this bit in and then I put it away and I haven't worked on it since and now I've got it out today so, so I'm definitely getting it finished today and I'm loving in case you haven't noticed these little crowns yeah so in the corners there's these beautiful little little crowns I've only just noticed those they're really really effective well thank you so so much for sharing and thank I look you. forward to seeing more progress as you go thank you thank you Okay, so this is what we got here. So this is the drawn thread to carton number two. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Let me it's an old one, so the picture isn't great. It doesn't matter. The picture is good enough. Everyone will get a feel for it. And this is where you've got to. So which way round are you? Am I going, am I going this way? <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Can I get closer? Yeah. Is that all right? Oh. See, this is what I love about the drawn thread, because there's a little bit of everything going on, isn't there? There's a little bit of specialty stitch, a little bit of cross stitch, a little bit of... Is that That's like gold work. Oh, right. Got, um, it's with Japan gold threads. So oh, these show me, show me, show me. Oh, look at those. How gorgeous is that? Is that your first time doing gold work? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, and so then, you've done stuff like yeah, this before? This, um, these will have the same sort of thing, but it's hard to do. I, I like to do it because I stitch in hand. Right. I like to do the cross stitch first, and then I'll put it on a frame, and then go back and do the speciality I'm stitches. You. I'm with you. Oh my god! Look at look at how cute this this peacock thing is. Look at that. It is gorgeous and lovely. So how long have you been stitching on this so one? I started this in lockdown at some point. I worked on it once and I did most of it, most of this over here. And then I've just done the cross stitch whilst I'm here. And you do all your stitching in hand apart from the gold work where you uh, put it on like a... Apart from speciality stitches usually, I usually stitch in hand. Oh, that is lovely. Yeah. And the fabric, so you're, you're... Oh, it's a very exotic 32 count white. White linen. White yes. linen, yeah. Lovely. It's just called for. Very effective though. Well, it Very is, effective. Yeah. And it looks it looks gorgeous. And I, I'm yeah. It looks a bit boring over here, but once this sort of thing is in. I was gonna say, once you get the detail in there, but I must I must admit that's what I love about these because yeah. there's so much variation yeah. in. and the pictures don't do them justice. Never, never, never. they never do. Mm. Well, thank you ever so much for sharing. Thank you. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got Tiny Dancer by Joan Elliott. Oh, gorgeous. Couldn't tell you the fabric, but it was from Pulse Stitches. So it's a Pulse Stitches fabric. I'll tell you what, that yes. is a really gorgeous, like pink and blue sort of yes. model, isn't I'm, it? I'm assuming she sort of matched it to the, to the design. Yeah, to the design. Yeah. So this is the, is this a called for fabric? I assume so. Yeah, I assume so, because I bought it all from Pulse Stitches. Oh, right. So it was like so a whole kit. Like a kit. Yeah. That is gorgeous. Let me get up in personal with the stitching. How long have you been stitching on this one? I have no idea. Roughly. Um, Do you reckon? Years? Years, yes. Years, years, years. And how far are you? So have you got I'm all about the dress done? here. Yeah, no, I've not got the dress. I got bored with the dress. So, so then I went up. You went up. Yeah. So you're going up and then what are you going to go down? Then, I, then I'll have to go down and start doing beading. Yeah. yeah. That is gorgeous. Yeah, lots of beads. So you've got a little ways to go yet before it's finished? Yes, yeah, it's a, lot of, not a long way to go. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's process stitching, right? It, uh, it is, yes. It well, is. thank you ever so much for thank sharing. You very much. So here we are with, I don't know what design this is. What design is this? Zoe, what design? Uh, Stitching Mummy. Stitching Mummy. Oh, is this the temperature tree? Oh, so this is a temperature tree. And is this for this year? This is last year. Last year. So you're using last year's temperatures. Yeah, so, so you can tell we're in the UK. Look at the colours. They're very cold colours, I'm assuming. To start with, yes. It's going to get warmer as we go round, right? We're hoping so. So you stitched all the tree and now you're just going back and you're doing all the little leaves? Yes. Gorgeous. So how long have you been doing this one for? Um, a few months. I put it away and then I brought it out again to finish. Fabulous. Fabulous. Well, I look forward to seeing some more leaves going on that. And I, I must admit, I've, I've seen a couple of these where, you know where you sort of see where the colours sort of transition from like here. You get up halfway up the tree and it goes really, really bright and vibrant because it's summer. And then because we're in the UK, all of a sudden, by the time you get back over here, we're sort of the same, the same, the same colours as down here. So, but yeah, lovely. Thank you for sharing. Ready? 
Hello. Guess who's with me? This is Zoe from Coco Creates. So if you haven't checked out our videos on Floss Tube, you need to go check her out. Zoe, are you having fun at the retreat? Of course. And we're, are we doing lots and lots of stitching? We're doing some stitching and some yes. shopping and lots of talking. Yeah, there's lots of talking. There's lots of talking. In fact, there's so much talking, I've done barely any stitching. But it was most important that I shared what we have going on in the room. So yes. would you mind if I flip the camera around and we have a little look at your stitching? Yeah, of course. Let's do that. Okay, Zoe, tell me what we've got going on okay, here. So this is the Autumn Lane Stitchery Dark Queen of the Earth, sir. Uh, mystery cell. Mystery cell. Yeah. So there's no picture to be able to know what it is you're going to get. You Correct. just sort of stitch it and you get like a big surprise at the end. Yeah. Is that how so, that works? Um, it's the counterpart to the Dark Queen of the uh, Sea, which she did the year before. So we've got kind of an idea of what it will look like. You know, she'll be sort of in the middle and there'll be bits at the top and around. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. So, yeah. so what fabric are you stitching this on? Uh, this is a 32 count. This is the recommended fabric. Right. So I don't know what it was called. So it was a called for fabric where they yeah, recommended it to you. Yeah, it was a called for fabric uh, and all the shinies and the beads and everything. 32 count. 32, yeah. Let's get up close and personal with the and stitching, shall we? Agnes, Agnes uh, Edelminder, oh, yes. whose colours match perfectly. I was going to say that is like perfect combination there, I see. Yeah. And how long have you been stitching on this one now? Uh, I started this at our last retreat, so I think it was in November. Yep. Um, so yeah, on and off since then. I have a few bits behind though. So I'm just starting part four, which is, so uh, is some branches four. up here. Yep. Um, but I think the pattern's on about part seven. So I'm a little bit behind. So, That's all right, I'm sure you'll yeah. catch up. I know what yeah. you're like, you diligent little stitcher, you. So yeah, so I'm gonna be catching up. Perfect. Well, look, thank you for sharing, and uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing the progress. No doubt this will be one of the ones that will be on the finishing table by the end of the year, right? Hopefully. Oh, yes. Most definitely. Oh, yes. Thank you ever so much, Zoe. What have we got here? So we uh, all know what this chart is. So this is... Greta Goldbroom by, by Bella Filippina. Yeah, yeah. And this is where you've got to. Yep. See, I love it when people start in a different place to me. Because you're <laughs> trying to work... Where are you started? Uh, started? So I'm, I've done that part of the skirt and I'm currently working on this part of the skirt. Oh, lovely. See, I haven't done that bit. I've done... On mine, I've done all of this front section of the skirt. Yeah. And yeah, so it's nice to see some actual colours. <laughs> How long have you been stitching on uh, this? I started this in November. November? Yes. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so it's kind of like an October thing, this. like a Halloween thing. Getting down and personal with the stitching. And do you happen to know what fabric you I do. It is a Chromatic Alchemy 32 Lazarite colour. Lovely. Gorgeous. I can't wait to see that when it's finished. <laughs> do you reckon how long do you reckon it's going to take? Mm. I don't know, maybe the end of the year, possibly. Are you a monogamous stitcher? Or? Well, I'm doing uni as well, so I have to do uni and cross-stitching at the same time. <laughs> right, okay. So, yeah, it might take a little while, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you never know. Are you at, are you at the next retreat? In the I'm, not at, the I'm not at September's, but I'll be at the day one in November. Right, so are you going to be bringing it? I might do. I I probably, might, I probably because it would be a year since I started it. I was so. going to say, so we need to see how far you've yeah. got. Not that we're holding you accountable <laughs> or anything like that. No, no. accountability is here, just no. as and when. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for sharing, Hannah. No worries. Okay, so what have we got here? We have Bella Filipina and it's Gaia. The earth goddess she is apps do you know what? i've got She's this one stunning i've got this one as a kit and i can't wait to start it the, so the, it, the pictures doesn't do it justice it doesn't see because now i'm going to just zoom in so let's just have a little look here so you're doing the skin skin is one over one is that one over one full cross full cross yeah oh yeah. my god look how gorgeous that is and i've already done the top and i'm down so there. that is divine She's look at those birds Look yeah. at the detail in the birds. And they're not backstitched yet. Are they be backstitched? Oh my god. So once they're backstitched, it'll be even better. Oh, see now I'm totally enabled now. Yeah. I mean I knew it was lovely, I'd got it. I but... think once you once you get the face in. Yeah. And they do have she has very oh, pretty face, doesn't she? Face. Look at that face. She is gorgeous. Divine, divine. So how long have you been stitching on this one? Well I started her last year and then and then put her down and then forgot about her. But I picked her back up this year here so I've done that much today today this retreat I've done that much oh my god um, now you we are putting me to shame but then so, I am spending most of my time just talking chatting. around chatting aren't yeah. I I'm not actually doing much stitching I don't know why I come to retreats with any stitching I might as well just not but bother you, and no. just walk around chatting exactly. is what I should do exactly. but then if you didn't you'd feel you needed to yeah yeah, yeah. so it's all so, about the process right so it's um 25 uh, 28 count hand dyed 
did it myself and it goes from blue to yellow at the bottom oh oh i can't wait to see so that then hopefully november it'll be done are you here november yeah that's the goal that's the goal are we holding you accountable you are so you're gonna have this done by november and it's yes. gonna be on the finishing table but right, you heard that people yeah but it's, it's not that much to go is there not really <laughs> she says <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> well, you've got no choice. We're, I haven't. Floss tube is holding you accountable now. That's so it. we look forward to seeing that on the finishing table yeah. in November. Thank you for sharing. So in case no one knows what this chart is, I know what this chart is. So this is the Long Dog Sampler Castles in the Air. Look at that. So that is what it will look like. And this is where you've got to. Yeah. And I actually already finished all the cross stitching. Oh my. Right now. And now I'm only doing the back stitching. Let me get close and personal look. Oh my, look. And this is my Teresa made me do it. Is this the Teresa made me do it, is yeah. it? So yeah. How long have you been stitching on this one? I started in May 2021. <gasps> oh wow. So I saw yours, so I'm, I'm using the same type of uh, fabric. That is gorgeous. Same type of floss. And then the metallics, oh, DMC. Yeah. Like horrible. Yeah, I know, but I, I know. But it's I put a little it. bit of... Um, uh, glue on it. Oh, what? Tacky, to stop tacky, it from? tacky glue. Yeah. Just a little bit on it with my fingers, and then it goes fine. It's a little bit more muted the colors, but yeah, it's still sparkly. Oh, well, so, that is lovely. Yeah. So, are you stitching that one over one? One over one, twenty-five count. On oh, twenty-five count. Yeah. That is gorgeous. Love, 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 and I love those colors. Me too. So, have long before you think you can have it all done. It would be nice today, but I don't think so. But, no. uh, end of the month. End of the month. Yeah. So it'll be on the finishing table next yeah. time you're here yeah. then. I look forward to that. Well, look, thank you so, so much yeah. for sharing. You're welcome. Okay, so what have we got here? Forest cat. Forest cat. Let me, let me give it a little pick up. Cause look at that. How lovely is that? And who's that by? Who's that? Len... Len and Arty. The Art of Stitching. Yeah. That is beautiful. And this is where, you, oh, look at that. Stitching looks gorgeous. Stitching looks gorgeous. And you're doing, what, what are you doing this on? What fabric? It's 14 count, what come with the kit. 14 count, Yeah. lovely. How long have you been stitching on this one? First in the month. What, just this month? Yeah. <gasps> wow. How long do you reckon it's gonna take you? Well, I'm going to start a duck today, so... You're going to start a duck today? It's going to start... We're letting the cat out of the bag. The ducks oh, will sorry. be starting today. No, that's okay. I've been waiting for someone to mention a duck. Um, so, so we're going to be stitching on this, and then you're going to start on one of the Gordon yeah, Fitch ducks. Yeah, to finish the top of what I've got printed off. Things. And then you'll so, be ready for some yeah. duck action. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. So... You reckon a couple of months and this will be finished? Yeah, hopefully. Are you back at the next retreat? Oh, yes. So yes. Is it, are we going to see this on the finishing table? Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. Not that we're holding you accountable no. or anything, but I look forward to that. Well, thank you so, so much for sharing. And you never know, we might actually get a bit of duck recording as well, <laughs> might we? Thank you so much. Okay, right. Well, we can see here, this is Heaven and Earth Design Super Sized don't believe in going small do you oh, no. super size a stitching shelf max color by amy stewart look at the size of what that's going to be let me let me just make sure everyone's aware of how big this is going to be because that's huge so and where have you got to uh so i'm at 3.85 percent <gasps> would you look at the colors on that oh my so right what are you stitching this on uh, this is 25 count even weave and you're doing this, what, one over one full cross? Yeah. Gorgeous. How long have you been stitching this? I started it last August. Oh, um, you've done really well. Yeah, I'm doing 100 stitches a day on it. And it needs to be finished in 2038. 2038, and that's at 100 stitches a day for like forever, right? Yeah. Oh my, look at that. Let me just, let me just get up and personal with it, because it's just... That is gorgeous, gorgeous. So are you a monogamous stitcher? No. You, no. No. So you still just do 100 stitches on this a day and then you do other things, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, I can imagine. Oh, God, that is lovely. Well, I can't wait to see what progress you get. Are you at the next retreat? Yeah, uh, I will be here in November. In November. So yeah. we get to see it again in November and see how far you've got with your yeah. 100 stitches a day. Yeah. I am so excited to see where you get to. Well, thank you so, so much for sharing. 
Okay, tell me, what have we got here? It's the Caterpillar Cross Stitches Stitch Along from last year, the How Does Your Garden Grow? Oh, do you know what? I was I was supposed to have been doing this, but then everything went wrong at home and I never actually, I think I got, what did I get? It was the first part, the first part I think I got half a, half a toadstool or something and that was as far as I got. So how far have you got? I've just got the ladybird to go and then I'm finished. Oh, well you're going to get finished today? Hopefully. Yay! <laughs> So she's nearly finished it. Let, let me get up close and personal with your stitching then. Oh, and look, there's the little gnome, the little gnome needle winder that comes as part of your, uh, your stitch along. That is gorgeous. And see the actual gnome's little legs. Oh, look. And the little snail, and the carrots. So what have you got left? Just the ladybird. Just the ladybird. I've just finished the pots. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Well, look, thank you so, so much for sharing. Have you got a new start for today as well? Uh, this weekend? No, I've got a few things I've started for. Uh, right, well, never know. We might actually mm -hmm. get to see those. But I look forward to seeing this on the finishing table. But thank you so, so much for sharing. Don't just take it out of the... No, that's okay. I can see it from here. Right, so what have we got? Tell me what this is. It's uh, the boating, the beach hut at the seaside. So, Beside the Sea Beach Huts by Bothy Threads. Yep. Perfect. Lovely. And where have we got to on this one? Well, I started it when we got here. <gasps> I've just done my first pink tree. You mean you started this yesterday? Yeah. And you've done all that? Yeah. Oh my. Oh my. You, you really are putting me to shame. I'm oh, well, not stitching anything. Because you're busy doing other things. I know I'm busy doing other things. Busy, busy helping us have fun. So. Yes, and too much chatting as usual yeah. and being totally enabled. But look how much you've done. So, and, and you're stitching this on, what is this? It's is 14 that, count. 14 yeah. count, Ada. Is it like a kit or is it a. Yeah, um, it was a kit. It came all. all already oh, and you've got all of the all yep. strengths and yeah. unbelievably somebody was giving away on the stash table let me find it look you can see she's been she's been purchasing <gasps> is that like a companion piece yeah oh my look beside the seaside harbour lights and is that a kit yeah <laughs> I was going to say, it's been it's about right, right place, right time, right? Absolutely. So, uh, I'm pleased to see that you've got a lot in this bag down here. Look at this. I know. Just, well, just... I brought a couple of things with me because I wasn't sure. And, and then, then you've just added I, to I, it, I haven't you? I bought that and I bought a couple of things upstairs. And, and there was the raffle, uh, not the raffle, the pass the parcel yesterday. Well, I do like to see that you've, you know, you've, you've been using up your time wisely. Absolutely. Well, you're definitely going to never worry about anything to stitch on because you've got no. more than enough right now. <laughs> well, thank you so, so much for sharing. It's okay, the, Michaela, tell me what we've got. What's it's, this? It's the Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries Mystery Halloween Wreath Cell. And they've released like six clues when I'm on clue two. Blue too. Yes, because I never keep up. <laughs> well, I don't think. Well, only the diligent stitchers keep up. Yes. We're the ones that sort of are fly by night. See, so how far have you got? I've done this bit. That's lovely. And what fabric are you doing this on? I'm doing this on an 18 count Ada, and it's from Megan's Coffee Craft. Mm, lovely, Which lovely. So when did you start it? Do you think? I think I started it in November, maybe. Yeah, what, and you're just doing like little bits at yeah. a time on it? Yes, because I wanted Lovely. to keep off. How long do you reckon it's going to take you to finish it? Well, basically till October, September. I think they will release the last clue in September. So, are you, were you, you here in November? Or no. are you here in September? No. Oh, so we're gonna have to not? we're gonna have to wait till next year to yes. see it on the finishing table. Why yes. expect to see it on the finishing okay. table? Thank you for sharing. You. Okay, show me what what have we got here? Uh, so this is a design by a lady called Jackie Duplessy. Um, so it's a, you make a little bag and all the little bits and pieces that go inside. I'm a bit of a sucker for a bag. Yeah, you, well, you like, you like all the trinket stuff. So this is I called, like what is it trinkets. called? Tunbridge? Tunbridge with a Tumbridge twist. Tunbridge with a twist. Let yeah. me get close and, oh, look at those. And so, uh, so I've stitched the top of the pink cushion, which is very fiddly. And now I'm doing another fiddly bit. Um, which will be an easy do you, do you want to move it away from where the chart is? Because I can't put the camera where the chart is. So if you hold it up for me so I can show people. Or we just, yeah, just hide the chart for me so I can. Yeah. 
Oh, so, wow, look. So it's just that annoying so, over one thing, a periodically the thread slides behind and then you... Oh, yes, yeah. you love that, don't you? Yeah. So... Um, this is so this is going to be the band that goes across the bag is that right no this is going to be the show me, show me. little needle book here oh look so there's a little stuffed end that uses pin cushion and then this sort of folds in on itself in a really really straightforward to do i'm sure way you hope yeah yeah well yeah. actually you're quite a dab at this we know who you are because we've seen some of your things um yeah so um i'll have it finished in no time yeah we'll be done by what by I'll september try, i'll try and have it done by september is it gonna go on the finishing table if i've done it yes <laughs> not holding you accountable or anything are no, we no no well thank you so so much i look forward to seeing that in september then okay Okay, we know what this one is. So this, this one is Tap Dancer Long Dog Samplers. The Weird and the Wacky. The Weird and the Wacky. Let's have a little look. Where have you got to? Look um, at that. A third that. of the way there. A third? Yeah, crazy things like the biplane and the helicopter. A spider hanging off a flamingo. Yeah, because that normally happens, right? Yeah, so why? The centipede there, or the millipede, oh, whichever one. Oh, I didn't see one. him. Every time you look at it, you see something different. But yeah. Oh my! Clever here and there, caught a fish. That's yeah, so well thought out, isn't yeah. it? It's quite quirky. But I didn't realise that was an aeroplane. Now it's actually stitched yeah. in front of me. I can see that. Yeah. But the more you look at it, the more you see, I think. The more you see, yeah. So, and what are you stitching this on? It's on an 18 count Ada by um, Crafty Kate. Right, and what colour thread are you using for this one? Oh, I can't remember. It's a, a navy blue, I think. Oh, it's definitely DMC. Is it a 939? Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. It's gorgeous. How long have you been stitching on this one? Uh, four months now. Four months. How long yeah. do you reckon it's going to take you to finish it? I hope to finish by the end of the year, but we'll see. Are you here in September? I'm here in September. Are you going to be bringing it with us? Of course. So we get yeah. to see how far you're on you've got. You will do. I look forward to that. Thank you for sharing. Take care. Okay, Sandy. This, what is this? What's this chart? This is the Story Keep version of Princess of the Sea by Donna Gelsiger. Uh, Heaven and Earth Design. Right, and you, this is like, what percentage are you done on this one? I'm at 89.9%. <gasps> Come on then, show me, show, show me your 89.9% complete. Hope you've got a long oh, wide angle zoom on this right, camera. Right, let me just, oh, would you look at this. Right, so what count is this? This is 18 count Ada. 18 count Ada. And you're stitching this, what, two over? Two over one. Two over one. Oh, look, and you've just got that bit down the bottom oh. to do. Okay, go on, you can, you can put it oh, down now. Thank you. Your poor little arms. <laughs> All I need now is a very large book to put it in. Show, show me, show me, show me down the bottom. So you're doing like a filling in. Yeah, I've got to the point now where I'm doing perhaps one with the most amount of colour stitches left for that particular colour, and then I'll do one or two that have got just a few amount of stitches just so I can knock down the number oh. of threads. So, how long do you think it's going to take? This is going to be finished by September. <gasps> You're holding yourself I'm accountable. I'm holding myself you don't accountable. Even, you no. don't even need floss no. to hold you accountable. <laughs> but this so is going to be we done. get to see this on the finishing table next September? Well, it will be a finished project. Whether it's a fi fully finished object is another question. Well, fully finished or finished, it will somehow end up on it the table. It will end up on the it? table, yeah. Well, I, can't I started wait to see this that. in July 21. Man, to, honestly, Sandy can stitch like you wouldn't believe. Okay, so it helps being retired when you've got nothing else to do. I'm looking forward to those days. So that's the one that you've been working on. So, yeah. And today we have a new start. Don't we have we? a new start. Yes. So what, what new start? Well, have we, got? we are starting tea for two. Guess what this is? This is a duck. It's a duck. A so fancy you, duck. you are joining me on my on my I'm joining new start, you on your duck, duck travels. <laughs> so this is T for Two artwork by Gordon Fitchett. Look at this. Now, it's not until you actually really look at the duck that you see. Yeah. It's got like these little birds on his, on shoulders. his shoulders. And then two little birds down here. Yeah. Two little birds down here. And he's got a teapot and two cups of tea in his hands. Oh, that is just gorgeous. And I chose this one because a friend of mine and I always have tea every Thursday afternoon together. Oh. So it's tea for two. So it is tea for two. Yeah. Oh, and how far have you got? Now, bearing in mind, I haven't even started my new start yet because I needed to do this recording Well, I decided first. I was going to start on his hat. 
that is lovely look and what what are you stitching him on it, again it's an 18 count ada this one is a coffee craft fabric so it's got a slight tinge of greens and blues a little bit that. of brown yeah that's nice yeah because obviously he's he's, he's not although he's full coverage he's he full, himself is full coverage but, but there's no around background. him there's no yeah. background so yeah i'll make you right i've gone with a with a colored fabric so and what are we stitching two over two oh, full cross two again? over two full cross yeah how long do you think it's going to take? I'm not holding myself accountable for this at all. Are we just going to see where we're, <laughs> we're at in September? We're just going to see where we get to. I yeah. like that idea. I'll join you with that one. <laughs> yes. that, that, that's, that's as far as accountable as possible. And I just need to share, she's gone a bit duck mad here. So she's even got these little Oktoberfest ducks. And she does have on her backside a little thing that oh, says no. Munich. I love, love, love. <laughs> that is just too cute. And you've got a duck needle wind up. Yes. That's and a duck project bag. And oh yeah, show me the duck project bag. Where did this one come from? This was one that I made. Oh, did you? Yep. Look at you. She's a right dab hand, isn't she? And we even have a little duck on there as well. Oh, look, that is beautiful. Like I say, I can't wait to retire to have all the time to have everything <laughs> colour coded and, and matching and coordinated quite yeah. like this. Well, thank you so much for sharing and I look forward to seeing him in September. Yes, and well, I look forward to seeing yours too. Yeah, I've got to start it first. Yeah, <laughs> don't mind. Thank you. <laughs> okay, come on then, Julie. Tell me, what is this that I'm looking at? Right, this is The Better To See You With by the Cross Stitch Studio. Cross -stitch I don't know the name of the artist. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, this is on 28 count, two over one tenth. Oh, wow. Well. So are you is this like um is this what people would refer to as extreme cross country? Is this what this is? This is what I call extreme cross country, but some people colour complete and I don't. So you don't colour complete. No, I so just explain pick an area. the logic here because I'm like I'm a bit <laughs> Well the logic for me is I just pick an area I want to work on and I follow it across. And then if I get a bit bored with the colour, I'll find somewhere nearby that's got a little block of colour and then I'll carry on and I just work my way around then back and forth, back and forth. So how do you know when you've definitely completed the whole section? I'd, I'd have loads of holes missing. Well, yeah, you do, but then you go back and forth. You, you gradually, as you get it, as it gets more and more complete, you just go backwards and forwards and you just gradually fill it all in. Oh, my God. Like, eventually, when it gets a lot more to it, I might get a section where I think, oh, I'm going to complete, like, that whole section. See, I like, I like the fact that you've it. obviously gone on a bit of a black theme and then you've got two eyes and what looks like a, a nose. That's his nose, yeah, and that's his snap. Down the middle. Then you've got his ears here. And, and then a little house. Little house over there. Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood's down yeah. here. I love that. Yeah. Wow. So when did you start this? Um, I think last year. I think, we also, I, think, yeah, I think we started it last year. We thought we were working on it. So last year? Yeah, I think so, yeah. And so is this full cross? Tenth no, no, no. This is two over, two over one and 28 count tent. Two tent. over one, yeah. 28 count tent stitch. Tent stitch. Yeah. So that may be why it looks like you've got so much done. If and you also, only started I have a cone of black, which is why I went with the black. There's a lot of black in this, and I thought, well, anyway. Makes total sense. Yeah. So what do you reckon? How long is it going to take you? I have no idea, but I'm hoping that this one I may actually finish before I die. Whereas some of the other ones, maybe not. But this one I'm really, really keen to actually I can, yeah, I can see, Yeah, I can see why you wouldn't want to go with that morbid thought. Yep. Yeah, no, yeah. no, I'd like, I'd like to see that But if I don't finish finished. it by the time I die, I'm going to have it wrapped around me as a shroud. I'm going to be buried with it. Oh. Because, you know. Not that you want, you know, one of your fellow room. fellow stitchers to take it on for you and, and finish it for you, well, you know? I don't know, maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, it won't be this one, but yeah. I might I'm sure there would be someone that would be willing. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there would They'd be. have but, to be definitely keen. But, of course, if you wanted to wrap yourself up in it, I totally get that as well. Yeah. So... Well, that's lovely. So, what else are you working on? I'm assuming that you've got more that you're that you're working on. Oh yeah, lots. But I've got. I say you've seen me duck, which is not a lot to show yet because you know. That's okay. You can show me your duck. So you're joining the the new start new duck. Is that what we've decided? Well, okay. it's it's a thing. There's a there's a lot of us doing ducks. I wasn't sure if you if you would choose that you chose a hashtag or not for it. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to decide on a hashtag. Yeah. But this is it. But I don't know if you'll be able to say. It's that's very okay. Tiny we start. can say right now perfectly. What is what is this gorgeous fabric? This is a Megan Coffee Crafts fabric. Yes. And she she doesn't. Um, oh, it doesn't name have a, doesn't them, have a name. But, but it's a twenty eight count even weave, and I'm two over one tenth stitching. And Can it's a, and yeah, and it's very sparkly. It is. Yeah, it's a sparkly. Oh, in there, look. 
there is the start. Yes, and that's in his middle somewhere. That's in his middle. And what yeah. duck is it that you're using? I'm doing Zen duck. Sh show, me, show me some Zen duck then. Uh, Zen duck. Mock up. And that's okay, Zen duck. So so this he's oriental type. The oriental themed. duck. Look at him. He's got lots and lots of colour in him as well, isn't he? <laughs> so this is Zen duck. Yes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And this one you're stitching? Two over one tenth stitch on 28 count even weight. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Well, look, I'm looking for, I'm assuming you're here in September. Of course. So we'll see how far we get. Yes. No pressure. No, because you know I have many, many full coverages. I, yeah, I do. Yes. Yeah. But yes. I look forward to seeing how far we get between the yes. pair of us. Yes. If we add both of our projects together, it'll probably look like a fair amount. Only because I'm adding yours to mine. Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. That's okay. Cheers, Julie. Okay. Jackie, tell me what tell me what I'm looking at. What am I looking at right now? You're looking at Anubis. 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 Yes, it's one of my Egyptian projects. He's rather buff, isn't he? Look at them abs. Guess what? I like it. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I love that. It's just an awful lot of brown. It, I couldn't so, tell you who the designer is. Okay, so I've let's had have a pattern look about look. 20 years. So it is like 50 shades of brown. I see what you mean. Yeah, because I'm working in this section at the moment. Right. And it's all shades of brown. All <laughs> shades of brown. And this is all confetti. Oh, lovely. Well, you've so got... I'm leaving that till last. Well, of course you are. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of us don't get to leave yeah. our confetti till last. Yes, there's so, rather a lot of colours. That is. So what um, what size fabric are we using? I think this is 14 count, Ada. Yeah. yeah. So it's just in like an ecru colour, isn't it? Yeah. And, yeah, just, uh... and how long have you been stitching this? Um, hmm. On and off. No, 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 no. I just I've probably done that in 10 years. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I know that feeling. I think mine are going to be more a lot than of ten years. Yeah. I've got some Egypt, which I was going to bring, but I couldn't fit it in the car. Yeah, couldn't find anything to wrap it in. Oh, right. It's about as long as this table. Yeah. Or just, no. Well, it's a bit shorter, but yeah. I'll try and bring it next time. Next time. Next time. <laughs> so, so where do you reckon you're going to be by September, Richard? I'm not. I'm not here. I can only afford to do one, so oh. I only do March. So, well, so we we can we can hold you accountable for next next well, month. Well, see, I probably won't be doing this then because I do have a new start. What well. new start have we got? I have. She's got a new start, people. I haven't started it yet because uh, I want the um, to uh, hem the oh right, you want your fabric. She wants her fabric surged first. I'm all ready to go with with this one. Oh. Real game. And what's this one? This is the Mirabilia. Mirabilia, and it's. She says. Uh, Royal, Royal, Royal Games 1. Royal Nora Games. Corbett. Oh, lovely. So um, so you're going to have a new start what, later today. today. Yeah, later today. That's my new start. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so this is going to be the new start. I have a playing card obsession, so it just fits. Yeah, no, no, I get that. And we don't want to, you know, I'm assuming then you're definitely not a monogamous teacher, are you? No, no. No, no. Because I've got others on the go at home. I've got a, what, a wolf, another set of tigers. Oh, well, you definitely got yourself, um, yeah. I've well, got venom on the go. I look forward to seeing more of your Fifty Shades of Brown <laughs> next year. Next year. Yeah, Thank I'll you for sharing. Back. Cheers. <laughs> okay, so we have got Brenda Gervais. What does that say? Rejoice. Is that Rejoice Forever? Rejoice Evermore. Rejoice Evermore. Okay, so this is a sunflower type. That's lovely. Love, love, love. So, this is what you're stitching on. And this is where you've got to. Look at that. Look at that beautiful stitching. So, how long have you been stitching on this one? Um, not long. Um, not I long? This is probably, I think I did the first little flower bit in, you know, a few days stitching. And then the house is from this weekend. Oh, so this is like almost like a bit of a new start yeah. type thing. And what, what fabric count are you stitching this one on? I think it's 32, but two over, two over two. Two over two. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. And I'm loving the little scissors as well. Thank you for sharing. And so tell me, tell me what I'm looking at. What am I looking at? So this is Marvelous Well by Lindy Stitches. Oh, it's a it Lindy Stitches. It was a sale from last year. Yeah. And... I'm stitching it on 36 count. I think it's Mayflower, Fox and Rabbit. Oh, lovely. Love, love, love. Let's move that one out of the and way. And it's all the called for 
cover and get up and personal with the stitching. Oh, would you look at that. So these are all the cord for colours. Yes. And when did you start this one? Last year, last January. Last January. I'm and how hoping to finish it. When? Soon. Soon Very as soon. in what? Soon, soon as in what, a month? I was hoping this weekend, but... This weekend? We will see. Do you I've reckon? Just across here to do. Oh, I look forward to seeing that. If we do, it'll be on the finishing table, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you need to make it a bit of a focus piece and, and get that bashed out this weekend. That is gorgeous. That is lovely. Uh, so I can see you've also you. switched. You've also So you've also been working on a full coverage. What full coverage are you working on? This is the Grand Library by Amy Stewart. Everyone's loving a bit of Amy Stewart apparently while we're here. I started it in January. In January, so it's a new start then. Oh, would Sorry, you look at that? And that. what are you stitching this? You're doing this? 28 count, one over one. One over one, full cross. This is the regular size, regular colours. Regular size, regular colours. It's still big though, isn't it? Oi. Yeah, it's 30 by 21 and 3 eighths. Yeah, that's not, that's not, it's not a small fake. And I'm loving this. Look at this, look at this Thank book you. needle minder. Love, love, love. A beautiful, beautiful yeah. stitching. Well, thank you ever so much for sharing, and I look forward to seeing that on the finishing table by the end of this weekend, yeah? <laughs> no worries. Thank you. So, tell me, what, what's this that we're looking at? So, this is a heaven and earth design by Randall Spangler, um, mini curl up with a good book. Oh, my God, look, look how cute he is. And he's eating a cookie. Yeah, and he's got wine. Cookie. And he's got wine and as well, a nice little red wine. And look at this, people. Oh, my God, would you look? So tell me, tell me, how long have you been stitching this for? Oh, seven years. Seven years? Yeah, but not constantly. So you're not a monogamous stitcher? Oh, definitely not. And how far along are you? What's your percentage? 92.28. Oh, so it's getting really close. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Four and a half thousand stitches left. Oh, so are you making it a bit of a focus piece to sort yeah. of, yeah, to push forwards? Yeah, so this and is the one I work on at home. Like all, all the time. All the time. So this is this is getting monogamous stitching right now. Yeah. Oh, lovely. So what is it? Is it 18 count? It is 18 count. 18 count and two you do one. two over one full cross. Yeah. When do you think you're going to have it done by? Oh, definitely by September. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks. In the next couple of weeks. But you're here September, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to see it on the finishing table. Yeah. I look forward to that. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. So, tell me, tell me, what have we got here? So it's Bothy Threads what? Um, this is um, oh, by Renna, Rendale Designs. This is Grow Your Own. Lovely. Is it kit? Yes, all fully kitted up. Get the fabric as well. Lovely. All right, mind that out of the way. Let's have a little look at the stitching, darling. Oh, don't oh, look, look at, at that. that. Look. And what count is that? Is that 14? 14 count, yeah. Beautiful stitching. How long have you been doing this one? Hmm. Roughly. Hmm. A few months. A few months. <laughs> a few months, yeah. And you've got quite a bit to go. There's quite a lot of vegetables to yeah, go on the still, bottom. Yeah, I've still got to get through down the bottom. Um, it's less on this side, on the right hand side. So it's mainly just, it's mainly this part from here and there's just a little bit up here. So how long do you reckon? A few months still. Yeah. I, I won't be yeah, done it. I won't be done any time soon. No, it doesn't matter. It it might doesn't be matter. back. We might be back next year looking at this. You reckon? We could be. That's all right. Well, we can we can we can have a look at it again next year. And we see can how much progress see if I've done any more. Yes. yes. So yeah. perfect. Thank you ever so much for sharing. <laughs> okay. Right. So we saw this at the very beginning of me going around the room, and this is the Morris dancer. Um, so there was one that we saw that was almost finished um, and it was done in the original colorway. And then we have over here, the same thing on a different fabric with some slight alterations, I think. <laughs> Would you like to talk us through what alterations you've made here? Well, I did, I made it up in terms of what I had in my stash and I love pink and I just thought, well, what's not to love about a pink sampler? That is gorgeous. So tell me, what, what fabric size are you working on? So I think this is 40 count, and it's part of a salve I'm doing. Um, uh, so they're all different sizes samplers. They all look very, very different. They and, do. Uh, 
Yeah, but I'm loving it. There's so many specialty stitches. So we've got chain stitch, we've got satin stitch, and yeah, it's a fantastic sample. I'm loving it. Yeah? Oh, that's gorgeous. And how long have you been working on this for? About 10 years. No, I'm really? About a year. About a year. Yeah. So, you, but it's, it's still quite a big sampler, though, isn't it? It is big. I mean, there's about, I don't know how many pages, but it's a big sampler. It's a big girl. And uh, yeah, it's going to take us a while to get it done. Now, are you a monogamous stitcher? No. So, you just sort of pull this out, do a bit, put it away, yeah. work on something else? Yeah, definitely. I think it's nice to shake it up and just do something completely different as well. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's, it's great. It's GGO, what's not to love. She's always really quirky. Um, there's an awful lot of interest in this sampler, so I'm really loving it. Wonderful. Well, look, thank you for sharing. Pleasure, thank and you. no doubt we'll see you again at the next retreat. Yay! Thank <laughs> you. Okay, so what have we got here? Tell me, tell me. This is Rose Cottage Pinky by Stacey Nash. Oh, look at that. Very, very nice. <laughs> okay, and where have you got to? Let's have a little look over um, your shoulder. I'm, I'm getting on. I'm oh, getting look on. At that. This is all solid blue stitching, right? And I've got to put some more geese in, so there's quite a bit to do there. But just a few more letters and the rest of the house, and it's yeah, it's not, and it'll be a finish. It'll be a finish. It's not a huge. It's just a, a mini sample. A mini sample. It's so mini it's, sample. what um what count fabric are you doing that on? Thirty two count linen. That, that linen. Yeah, yeah. thirty two count linen. Like it Personal. And this is all the right called for colours, right? All or the called for. You haven't yeah. sort of subbed anything. I yet. won't mess with Stacey's choices because she knows what she's doing. Lovely, lovely. So when do you reckon? How long have you been stitching on this one? I started this about a month ago. Really? Yeah. And when do you think you're going to have it done by? I reckon. I think I'll probably have it done by the end of the week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing. Thank you. 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 Just so that you know, this lovely, lovely, gorgeous lady here is floss tuber, two times stitch, two times fix, fix, get it right, Teresa. And your floss tube is done all in French, so not English, French. French. So if you speak French and you like to listen to French, she is your lady. So please check her out on floss tube. You have got a gorgeous, gorgeous bit of stitching here, haven't you? Apparently. Yeah, and this this is all over your floss tube, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, because I've been talking about it. You've been talking about it, and oh, I, and yes. we have we have a, a something in common here, don't we? We do. Show the people what it is we have in common. Ready? <gasps> Roses of Providence. She's oh. taken on the beast. It's because of her. I'm doing it now. <laughs> She's done it years ago, and I fell in love with it. It's because of her. Yeah, but are you still in love with it now? You're halfway through a dress. Of course I am. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that That's white. why I keep cutting you now. Oh, my God. Right, I have to show you her stitching. Hers actually looks a lot more well done than mine. So no, let, let me spin it's you not around. True. Don't listen to what she's saying. Let me spin you around and show you her gorgeous, gorgeous oh. stitching. Look at how gorgeous this is. And that fabric is to die for. Yes. It's and from Katie Sparkly. 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 Kate, Kate's at Sparkly. Yeah. Do, you know, do you know what it's called? 28 count. But I can't remember the name. You should give me a second. Go on. You, be you, able you put your boots you. while, I, while I just observe the stitching. Look at how, well, look, her stitching is so, so good. It's so neat and tidy. Dove Farm. Oh, that was okay. span across there. Dove Farm, 28 count even weave by Sparklies. How gorgeous is that? That is lovely. So, how long have you been working on this one? I start on the 11th of January 2023. And I'm only working Saturday and Sunday. Only. So, it's a weekend only stitch? Yes. How, far, how, how much longer do you think you need? Uh, probably a good two, three months, I would say. Two or three months, yeah. but are you going to have it done by the time we get to the next retreat? Of course. Are you going to bring it as a finish? I will. Are we holding you accountable on Blossom? Yes, yes, and you are all witnesses. <gasps> I've done all this part already. Oh, God. Yeah, so yeah, there's still I'm, a whole lot of dress there, right? I still got the faces to do and the, all the roses to do and the bottom of the dress. Right, and for the skin, are you going one over one or are you going to? Um, I'm doing normal. Normal, full cross, two. Two over two. Two over two. Yeah, no, I, I can understand why you might do that. Yeah. I probably should have done that. But, yeah.
Yes. The next one I want to try one over one. Oh yeah, be careful what you wish for. All right then. <laughs> okay. But no, the no, boss no, told. You should always give it a try. But look how neat those stitches are. It puts mine to shame. I'm not ever going to put no, mine that, that sure. close you up now. It's good as well. Don't say that. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Well, I can't wait to see that finished in the September. 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 September definitely. You heard that, people. Definitely. We're holding September. her accountable. That would be my first finish. Best finish. We're all down for first finishes. That's it. Thank you for sharing. But you will have to teach me probably to do the beads. That's fine. We have videos to teach you how to do beading. And if not, I could do it in person for That's you. That's it. Thank you for sharing, no sweetheart. No problem. You're Bye. welcome. Bye-bye. Okay, so tell me, tell me, what have you got here? This is um, Woodland Santa Be Autumn Lane. Do you know what? I've never seen this chart before. Apparently, I've been told it's one of the earliest ones they ever did. Is it? I didn't know. I only bought it last year. But apparently, I've been told it is, it is a really early one. It is lovely. It is very, very lovely. Okay, so show me, show me. There you go. Look at that. I've only got this part to do. So let me get up close and personal with your stitching. Look how neat and tidy that stitching is. So is this a kit or did it come like... No, it just get comes a chart. No, yeah, right, comes so a chart. Right, so tell me, what fabric are you using here? It is a... What's it called? It... Yeah. Well, I can't remember. I bought it here last year. So it was one one. of Kate's Barclays. Yeah, it is Kate's Barclays. Yes, yes. Right, it and is. is it? Is that a twenty-eight count? No, it's yes, it's twenty-eight count. Twenty-eight yes. count. Yeah, it is twenty-eight. And all the colours, it's all called for, right? Yeah, yeah, all called for. Yeah. All DMC. Yes, all DMCs because it's on DMCs on the back. Right. So the fact that you said you got the fabric here last year means that you started it when? Last year. What? This March one. last year. Yes. And you've done all that since March last year? Yeah, yeah, really. but I'm not going to do the bottom of it because I and a lot of other people don't think it's called for or don't. So I've actually You're going to take that there. bit off. Right, I see what you mean. I don't know why, I just don't think it fits Well, if to you me. don't like it, but that's the whole beauty of this. We, we get so, to we can choose what we want. Yes. But look at her stitching. How gorgeous is that? And he is such a sweet looking thing. He is, though. isn't he? He is. I've never seen, I'm the first thing, Christmas thing I've ever stitched. And you're stitching this two over two? Yeah. Full cross? Yes. Wonderful. Right, How? when do you reckon you're going to have it done by? Oh, by next retreat, when I come in September. So are we going to sit on the finishing table? Yes, you are. We're I not promise. holding you accountable, really, are we? No. Yes, we are. <laughs> I promise you it will be finished then. I look forward then. to seeing it on the, Thank you on very the retreat much. next week. Thank you very much. Bye. Stunning, okay, so... This particular person doesn't want to talk, so I'm going to do the talking for you. So this is one of the um, Reuben McHugh. Yep, yeah, Reuben McHugh. Um, Christmas delivery. Now, I'm trying to think, who's the company? This is Charting Creations, is it? It's Charting Creations. And I think you just said that you started this in December. Yep, started 9th of December. 9th of December. Now, you're not a monogamous stitcher normally. I normally but stitch with something for two weeks, get bored, switch. And then all of a sudden you've just gone home monogamous stitching, right? Now, you need to see this, people. Would you look at this bad boy? Look at that. She's gone from not being a monogamous stitcher to being a monogamous stitcher. And it is beautiful. She's in love with yeah. the project yeah. look it's at yeah. that how yeah. effective is that so i'm gonna her. guess that you're stitching yeah. 25 pounds yep 25 pounds one over two over one two over one ten there we go people two over one ten 25 pounds look at that that is gorgeous love 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 how long do you reckon are you going to continue the monogamous stitching do you think no i'm going to keep on going until i don't Where's the, the mock-up again? So you're 47% done? Yeah. Well, by, by the time you're in there, we'll be 50%. So you've got, right, so you're, let me just spin over here. So you've still got the little houses. So you're mm -hmm. sort of around this bit, aren't you? Just, yep. just underneath him now. Yep, just and underneath then, this green present. And then you've got all of this goodness going on down here. Yep. So how long do you reckon? If you continue with monogamous stitching, how long do you reckon it's going to take you to finish this? Three months. Three months? <laughs> Three months. <laughs> I know where this is leading. I'm not coming back in September. You are coming back in September. Well, we, 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 can, we, can, we can plan for it. Um, Ross Chief will hold you slightly accountable, but only if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. 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 Yeah, I'm
<laughs> well, look, thank you so, so much for sharing and good luck with your monogamous stitching. I'm very impressed with the progress. Maybe I need to start being a monogamous stitcher on some of my projects. Really? Well, then uh, the only thing I'll ever talk about on Flosstube is like, hi, here's my alternative reality. Hi, here's my alternative reality. And hi, here's my alternative reality. Oh, we love it. Yeah? You never know, people. I could go monogamous. After seeing how much progress she's done from, since December on this project. Food for thought. Food for thought. Well, thank you ever so much for sharing. Hello, my Hello. lovelies. Guess who? So for those of you that don't know who this lovely, lovely lady is, this is Stitchy Ray. She also has a floss tube. I know there are a lot of floss tubey people here this time around. <laughs> and it is great. So, how long have you been doing floss tube for? Uh, about two years, but I had a big break in the middle. So right, like, but you're back. I'm back with a vengeance. Yeah, I do love watching <laughs> her videos. So if you don't know who she is or you haven't checked out her channel, please make sure to go and check out her channel. Should we have a little look at what you're stitching? Yeah. Yeah. Let me flip the camera around. Okay, tell me, what have we got here? This is Hands Across the Sea. Um, it's one of their little gems, Jane Marshall, 1857. Yeah, I bought it when it was a fundraiser, but I'm pretty sure you can still get it on their website, just a normal chart. And this is where I am. Would you look at that? I have done a colour conversion on the thread, so it's charted in silks. Yep. Um, but I had a load of uh, colour and cotton in my stash, so it's mainly in my conversion to colour and cotton. But it's pretty similar to the original. It's very lovely, isn't it? And the fabric, what we're stitching this on? 36 count linen in clotted cream from, I think it's Foxglove and Lace. Lovely. Look at that. So have you got like a little sort of like idea of how long? it's going to take you? I hope this one not too long because I've only got two bands left to do. I was going to say you've got a couple of bands. So um, yeah, hopefully not too long. When did you start it? <laughs> Don't ask me questions like that. Two years ago. <laughs> two years ago. Right, okay. So but it's not going to take two years no, to get the last no, two bands no, on. No, no. So are you coming to the next retreat in September? I'm not. Oh, I'm yeah. coming in September. Oh, no. What about next March? Yeah, I'll come next March. Yeah, so yeah. do you think we would be oh, able to definitely. hold you at least? Can we hold you accountable yes, to that? Yes, March. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see that on the finishing yeah, table. You'll hear me, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Floss Tube, you heard it from oh, Stitchy Rach. <laughs> she's got a lot of finishes to show. Yeah, she's, gonna, no, she's got a lot. We've we got to double the tables. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to double the video. I don't know about anything else. <laughs> well, thank you ever so much for thank sharing. You. Okay, so the next one we have here is it's a heaven and earth design, Faces of Fury, and it is the Jasmine Breckett Griffith. I can never say the name. My first ever cross stitch. Full coverage was one of these. Look how gorgeous those eyes are. And now, is that got the yellow eyes on this? Is it the um, glow in the dark, do you know? No, but it has, does have chronic. It does have chronic yes, in it. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Look at that. So, and I'm just doing all the black. Just colour completing all the black. Look at that. Because it was Man, easy to work on while I'm here. Yeah, just but on that's 16 count. 16 count. Yeah. And are we doing that? What are we doing that? One or two over? I've seen somebody else told me. Two over one. Two over one full cross? Just yes. Yeah. And when did you start this one? About a week ago. Really? Yeah. And you've done all that black? Yeah. Oh my God. That's a whole lot of black in one week. Yeah, but it's easy stitching. Isn't it? So. Oh and it, I take it this isn't your first full coverage? It's not the first I've started, right? but it's the most I've done on one. Very so. good. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like eight weeks worth of black. Yeah, yeah, only about a week, yeah. I like that idea. Maybe I should go with more projects that got black on them. Yeah, so, nice big you, chunks. Have you got an anticipation of when you think it will be done? Uh, no. <laughs> Depends how I get on with the other eight, nine or ten that I've got on the go. Oh, coverage. so you're not a monogamous stitcher? No. You no. have other projects? Yeah, I started about nine full coverages in February. Oh, right. So, oh, you're yeah, definitely, definitely not monogamous. And then I've monogamous. got the wheel and I'm going to spin and just see what the wheel comes up with. That sounds like a good plan. So, I suppose the question is, are you coming to the next retreat? I'm number one on the wait list, so hopefully. Do you think it'll be done by the time we come back? No. <laughs> will you bring it back so we can see how yes, far you've got? Of course I will. Yes. Then I look forward to seeing Good. it. Thank, Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Therese.
Okay, so tell me, what, what, what am I looking at? You're looking at Feather Fairy from Mirabilia. Isn't it up close and personal? And this is where you've got to, would you look at that? Look at those stitches. So when did you start this one? Easter last year. Easter last year. Yeah. So I bought the kit here last year. Right. And got the fabric off the D slash table. Right. So now you don't know what fabric that is. No. But it looks like, is it a linen or is it a linen? I think it's a linen. It's a linen. It's a linen. It's a linen. It looks. Of, um, what do you reckon? Is that a 28, 32? That's what we were discussing. It's one of the two. I think it's a 32. I think I think that looks more like a 32 than a 28. So you started it then. How far along are you? Do you reckon? I've got kind of up to there. Like and the are you are you a monogamous stitcher? No, no, no. So this, how often does this one come out? Every three weeks, maybe. Yeah. On the rotation, yeah. So, do you think you'll have it done by the next time? I hope so. You? I hope so. I aim to. Are you gonna, are you gonna bring it and put it on the finishing table so we see? I aim to. You aim to. We're not really <laughs> holding you accountable, no, are no. we? Well, thank you ever so much for sharing, and we will see what happens at the next retreat. Yeah. All right. Then. Thank Perfect. you. So here we are with yet another fellow floss tuber. So for those of you that don't know who she is, you are Cat V Stitches. So again, another floss tuber. I know it's like we were like we're in floss tube village over here. Um, how are you enjoying the retreat? It's been absolutely brilliant. It's my first ever stitching retreat and it's just blown my expectations out of it. So I'm really enjoying so it. So bigger and better than you thought, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. And it's just been nice to have some concentrated time nattering and stitching. I'm so glad you've had concentrated <laughs> time. I would love to have had concentrated time. Don't ask me how many stitches I've got in my stitching because it's negligible. But hey, as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. There's it? always fun. There's always fun. Right. Do you want to show people what it is that you're stitching on? I'm just going to flip the camera around. But like I say, if you don't know who she is, you need to go check it out on Floss Tube. I will put all the links in the description box below for you so that you will know exactly where to go to find these lovely, lovely, gorgeous Floss Tube friends. Okay, so tell me, what is this? So this is the Witchy Stitcher Supernatural. It's the sal she did um, last year and I think maybe the beginning of this year as well. So I'm so far behind it, but I'm just working my way through this row here at the moment. Right, and this is the Witchy Stitcher? Yes. Right, okay. Oh my God, look at that. So I've done the colour in the org and the colour in the unicorn because I've done all the black work on it. So I'm just filling in all the fun so colour bits now. So, and when and did you, when did you start as this? Possible. Oh God, this was last year now. But um, I was planning on keeping up with the sale, but as with all of these things, life gets in the way. So now mm -hmm. I'm just determined to get it finished at some point. So how long do you, how long do you anticipate it's going to take you to get this finished? If you I, keep um, going at the pace you're going. If I keep going at the pace I'm going, I think within a couple of days I could have it done. Yeah. Because like all the major stuff is done now, all the black work, and it is just literally filling in the little bits of colour in each thing now. How so, exciting is yeah. that? So if you want to see what this looks like finished, you need to go check out our channel. Because yeah. <laughs> it will be all over that. Now, are you coming to another retreat? I am already booked in for September. So... I'll get my are we holding you accountable that you're going to have this finished by September? Oh God, yeah. <laughs> are you going to bring it and put it on our finishing yes, table? Yes, I will. I'll bring the accompanying piece as well, which is um, cryptid. So I'll bring them both. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Well, look, thank you ever so much for sharing, and not really the floss tube are holding you accountable for your finishing. <laughs> and we look forward to seeing it next time. Okay, and thank you very much for organising this as well. No it's been problem. brilliant. No problem. As long as everyone's having fun, that's all we care about. Yes. Thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> Hello my lovely Floss Tube friends, here we are, we have just finished the most amazing tea and we have this rather lovely gentleman to thank for this, this is Sanjay. Hola. Sanjay, say hello to the Floss Tube community. Hello Floss Tubers, do you floss your teeth every day? <laughs> Good job, don't use a sewing needle. He is the one that is basically kept us very well fed and he watered. Does. Ladies, do you agree? Are you well fed and watered? Yay! 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 Thank you so much. You Pleasure. Always make it Pleasure. So lovely. Keep sewing. Now you get to go home and have a nice Thank sleep. you very much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Bye! Bye.